give thanks to the media and the press because we have gotten this far because of your tenacity and your involvement in keeping my Teresa story alive. And I'd like to give a special thanks to those reporters who contact me personally for firsthand information to make sure that accurate information about my trees is, is pro provided to the um, public. But at this time, I want to make a personal appeal to law enforcement and to the coroner's office to please not leak information before you have contacted me, the mother of Maitrese Richardson, to give me preliminary information about these bones. This is my baby that I've raised. This is my life. This, she's my future that I've bred. Give me the courtesy to make me aware so that I don't have to learn about the possibilities of these bones through reporters. That is devastating to me. That is devastating to my Teresa's family. We deserve better than that. We deserve the compassion of being spoke to firsthand. Again, we have learned that there have been remains found and I have learned firsthand today from the coroner's office that there were clothing found near those remains. Um, it is unfortunate that they will not let me view those articles of clothing. I do appeal to the coroner's office if they would please allow me to see those clothing articles because I know what my daughter was wearing we do know, and I do know firsthand, that they indicated that Levi's were found. I do know that my daughter was wearing jeans. I, I must be very honest, it was not law enforcement who notified me of the re remains. It's a um, very committed um, journalist who made, who made me aware of the, the, the um, findings. Once, once we did go to the sheriff's stations after they remove the bones from that particular area. They did um, make us aware that there was a skull found. Um, there were bones found, including the pelvic area, but at that time they could, they would not um, indicate if it was male or female. The body was so. That tells me that my baby is not running around in Las Vegas. My spirit tells me that um, my trees was last seen in the Montanito area, and that is where we should continue our focus. Let me, let me point out something. My name is Leo John, T. Sutton's attorney, and we have filed a lawsuit. And all these things that we have been, that Latisse has been asking for, are going to be obtained through a subpoena. You see, the problem is this. Ever since the lawsuit has been filed, the L.A. County Sheriff Department has been on a PR campaign. That's why when they went to Las Vegas and had that impromptu press conference, uh, that press conference was not in conjunction with the family. And you found nothing there but a, a so-called plea. Let me be as clear as I can. We have prepared subpoenas to go out to the LAPD. In light of what has just happened today, we are preparing subpoenas to go to the L.A. County Coroner's Office and unlike the sheriff department and the police department where they're not giving any information to the mother we're going to obtain that information and other than unless there is a court order we're going to release it isn't it amazing that they have not released the last video of my trees richardson inside the sheriff department once we obtain that you will get it but this type of nonsense of hide and seek from the mother is outright ridiculous. And that is the whole purpose of the lawsuit, to find out answers, because the Sheriff's Department, the Police Department, will not provide this mother with answers. I want to make one last statement before I go. And I want to make this very clear, because there are some very mean, ambitious people out there on the blogosphere. 
And it is most unfortunate that they have so many unconfirmed stories that is given to them to run wild with. But let me tell you something. I poured my life into my trees. And under no circumstances do I want my daughter dead. It's been reported that I am wishing for my daughter to be dead. How absurd is that? I would give my very life for her. So I want to make that very clear right now. No one wants her home more than me. This is my future. I built her to be all that she can be. I do not want her dead. I want her alive. And how dare anyone put such vicious rumors out there. Thank you. You know, I believe until the final end. And I've made several phone calls since I've been here and I sent out news waves and say this is the 12th round and I'm waiting to throw my glove up and, and, and I've been losing all these battles and right now I just threw that glove up right now and we gotta go to another round. So I, I'm so I'm so relieved. I'm so relieved. And I, I've been staying very focused, I've been staying very positive, I have a great deal of an amount of support and you know that's what I'm hoping. I know what I saw. I, I wasn't assuming. I just wasn't anxious when I was in Las Vegas in January. I hate the sheriffs didn't move on that possible sighting that I, I thought I seen. Um, I spent five days in Vegas last week with my family and friends. And this one particular child is an exact, this woman looks so much like my trees. And now that everybody's looking for her, she seems to move. Um, so we, we just want to know who that one young lady is that everyone said, this is my Trees Richardson. I'm, I've been in so many battles in my life that it's not over. It's not over. You know? Well, I can't believe that. The devil's a liar, man. He's lied to me 50% of my life, you know? And my, my gut, I, I gotta stay positive. And so many people might say, well, you know, this is it. This is her. What you going to do? Okay, fine. I have to accept that. But I'm not going to accept it and just throw in the white flag without all the definitive proof that I need to say that's my Treats Richardson. What people don't know, the reason why everyone is saying this is my Treats because she's the only one that's really been publicized in Malibu. But there are several other people that, and females, a set of twins went missing out of there. So we don't know. We really don't know. And until I get that final information that I need, I'm smiling again. I was a mess. I was a wreck when I came up here. But they didn't speak. She seems very angry towards the, the coroner's office and the sheriff's department. Like, do you share that same anger? Or? Well, you know what I've learned about uh, high-profile cases, and I'm glad to be able to call an African-American woman who's my only child, my daughter, uh, a, a very high-profile case, because as we know, African-Americans don't get a lot of coverage. But I can honestly say that because this is right up there with Michael Jackson. They, they have to be very delicate, very sensitive how they release information, because right now, based on why she's missing, they're already in a lot of trouble. Uh, citizens are outraged at releasing a young beautiful woman like this and the end result is this. So they have to, before they do further damage, they got to dot their I's and cross their T's because Mr. Richardson is on their head. So I understand why they're, they're dragging their feet and they want to make sure whatever they slide out. And, and I, I really feel, I don't really want to say they're hiding information, they just want to produce it when it's best time to put it out there. That's what I think they want to do. They want to cover themselves. If this has been your news conference, what message of any would you have had for the public? What I want to say is, um, if this was my news conference... <laughs> I mean, over there, rather than here after the fact. Uh, I would have said, for people, we have not received anything confirming that my Trees Richardson is deceased. Still meditate, still pray, still believe. And until we get confirmation, she's still alive, and I think I've seen her in Las Vegas along with 80 other people.